Okay, so you can see on the the uh, VR screen. Uh, if I if I just move a little bit closer, you can see that the laser, the length of the laser, is determined by where the laser hits. And if I if I move off, the laser zooms off into the distance, five thousand centimeters. But as you get closer you can see that the rectangle is is as soon as it impacts onto a surface and if you get up to this surface you can see that the, the laser is being fired from one, that point onto the surface and we're seeing that, that that graphic appear at the target point so that's working now but how can we make this useful so if i just go over here a second i'm going to we're going to look at a, a way where we can make a material change depending on what we're touching okay all right that's the first one that we'll have a look at okay so uh back inside unreal and we're just going to have a look at this object and all this is is just a cube with a material on it Okay, and as you can see is I've made an instance of that material. So let's look at the material, very straightforward. So I've just made a color material. Okay, but it could, it could be just a picture on it if you wanted it to be. Okay, right. and I've also made an instance of that. To make an instance of a material, if you right click, you can create, create a material instance, and that's a material instance. And all I've done is I've just changed the color of it. Okay, you click on color and change it. But you could just have two materials with two different pictures on. You can test that out yourself. Okay, so, if we, have a look at the process okay very straightforward in this instance so we've got um a vent tick which he came across last time which constantly uh keeps checking and if we go back to uh, this cube, it, it's called new cube. And if we go back inside the um, level blueprint, you notice that I've made a reference to that. Now to do that, if you go in here and you select the actor, go back inside the level blueprint and if you right click, you can make a reference to the object that's selected. And that's that's exactly what I've done here. Now, another thing, I've made a reference to the VR pawn, which again, do the same thing. I've selected that. I've gone in I've gone inside the little blueprint and I've made a reference for it. Uh, you'll notice that I can then reference the hit actor that's inside. That's important because inside hit actor, uh, it detects what what that object is. Okay. Now you think about it. If we can then compare the actor that we've collided with with the actual cube and see here where it says it's comparing these two and if these two are equal that means it's true now to create this node okay you can literally either drag from this one or this one and you put an equal sign as you get this option equal object and that's that node here so what this is doing is it's saying if the hit actor or from the laser beam 
is the same as this new cube. So therefore it will be true. And if it's false, it goes down this route. So obviously we need a branch node. So you can see here what's happening. I'll just bring those in a little bit more, see what you're doing. And what the branch node will do is if new the new cube is the object that it's colliding with, therefore we look inside its static mesh component. Now to get this, it's dead easy. You just drag from the, and we just type in static mesh. And we create that like that. So, and then from the static mesh, we can set its material. So if we are colliding with it, we set that material. And if we're not, it sets that material. And that's that's the way to change the appearance of the object. And you can try that out yourselves with with some pictures. Okay.